In the blue corner, we have Randall Wu standing at 172 centimeters tall, weighing 61 kilograms. Give it up for Randall! In the red corner, standing at 150 cm, weighing 37 kilograms, we have Chelsea and Sim! Hi, this is Gary Young and today we have the very small but mighty Team Singapore athlete Chelsea and Sim with us and we're going to get to know her better through a series of questions so stay tuned to this show to get to know Chelsea a little better after today So, hi Chelsea Hello yep. um, First of all, I'd like to know what's your favourite food? Favourite food will most probably be local food like chicken rice, nasi lemak <laughs> because <laughs> it's very close to home <laughs> I swear I'm gonna like strangle the next <laughs> Team Singapore athlete that says chicken rice, yeah? You're the third of all, I think you like chicken rice. Okay, Popular choice. since you said chicken rice, why chicken rice? Yeah. Because it feels like home. Like if you're overseas, that's what you always crave for. Salty or pai tea? Salty, xiong rou fan. Awesome, so now we know that a lot of Team Singapore athletes love chicken rice. So you guys know when to catch them, you know, when you're in the neighborhood. Go to the chicken rice store at the hawker centre or the food court. And <laughs> Stock them. <laughs> okay, so next up, um, what's your favorite genre of music um, during your free time as well as what, what kind of music do you listen to before going for a competition? Uh, I don't have a particular genre of music, but just anything on the top hits <laughs> on like radio or Spotify. Oh, then so which radio station do you listen to normally? Uh, Kiss 92. Oh, Kiss 92, oh, I like that as well. Same, yeah, same, same. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, John. <laughs> okay, I. I I don't know why, suddenly I just like not too sure what kind of show. Okay, straightforward. Chris Hemsworth or Chris. Or Chris Evans. And why? Wow, <laughs> tough decision. Oh. Hmm, I think Chris Evans. Yeah. And why? <laughs> uh, why? Because I like him in Captain America. Yeah. Like him for his role or his like the, the attributes he represents or. I think everything, like his looks, like the, players, muscles. the muscles, his acting, everything plays an important part. Interesting stuff. Um, and okay, also, I also understand you're going to uh, Korea for, for exchange soon. Um, and how do you, uh, what is it that you, that you, that made you make the decision to go, go over to Korea, if you, if you can share, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, uh, so many people go to like Europe for the exchange, but I actually chose Korea because um, I would like to continue training there because Taekwondo is a Korean martial art. Yeah, so I want to continue training and studying there as well. And I like the Korean culture. Good stuff. More questions from Gary, maybe? Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> yeah so, um, what are the qualities that you would look for in a potential boyfriend? Yeah. Boyfriend? <laughs> what sort of qualities will you look for? Agent, um, what qualities? Uh, even though I'm very small, but I think a tall guy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not judging. <laughs> uh, maybe sporty as well. Yeah, but I think more of his personality. Like, you must be able to click and, like, um, caring, I guess. Like, yeah. Awesome. So now you guys know, yeah? <laughs> okay, um, next I would like to find out. So, who, along your journey as an athlete, who inspired you the most while you were growing up? Inspired me the most. I think uh, my mother, yeah, so she's a very, very, very strong woman that takes care of my whole entire family. So I think she's the person that uh, I look up to and inspires me. And my coach as well. Uh, my natural coach is also a female and she's also another person that really inspires me because she's a four-time SEA Games gold medalist. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anything you'd like to sh shout out to them from here? Uh, I'm really very thankful and appreciative for all your support and for never stop believing in me. Awesome. So yeah, if you're watching this show, you know, <laughs> Chelsea's coach as well as her mum, some heartfelt thoughts from her on your support for her throughout these years. Okay, so I would also like to know, basically, we know that there's a huge group of support system working around our Team Singapore athletes, sports scientists, the coaches, as well as the dietitians, not to mention the others, the you know, physiotherapists, etc. How have they helped you along the way in your journey as an athlete? They actually helped me a lot, like I wouldn't be able to be where I am today without their support. 
So there are actually many, many people that are behind the scenes that people don't see that actually help me uh, towards this journey towards the SEA Games. Yeah, so there's my uh, rehab therapist, my physiotherapist, and even have the, we have a sports psychologist that helps me. So SSI has been very supportive, and SNOC, Sports Singapore, my Taekwondo Federation, coaches, especially my teammates who train alongside with me, they've seen the ups, they've seen the downs. Yeah, my friends, family, especially all the Team Singapore supporters and the Active SG supporters that were actually at the venue. Mm. And yeah, so it's very heartwarming to have all this support. That's so as you can tell, you know, there was a very long list that Chelsea rattled on there. The team around the team, there's a lot of people behind the scenes helping our Team Singapore athletes you know, to improve during major games, after major games, pre-major games. So kudos to this team around the team that's been helping our Team Singapore athletes. You are the best. So I believe John has some other questions to ask Chelsea. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested. I mean, it's, yes, we have fantastic uh, sports science team as well as the coaches and all that. But is there any other Team Singapore athlete maybe that you look up to personally? Any other Team Singapore athletes? Other than yourself? <laughs> hmm, actually, I think my teammates are actually younger than me, my juniors, but they are the ones that help me learn as well because I get to help them along and then get, um, share with them my experience. So, and they're also juggling a lot like between schoolwork, some are doing A-levels, and we are all actually at different paths in life. They are in, I mean, uni, they are in poly, ITE, JC, so all different, but yet we help each other along the way, and they help me grow as well as an athlete. Great stuff, Chelsea. The, um, someone everyone looks up to, of course. If you haven't checked out some of our recent uh, uh, videos, she's, she's a, a fan favourite among a lot of the Singapore fans who are up here in KL. Uh, and maybe you can tell us maybe how do you cope with uh, being in the limelight? Um, I guess for competition wise I block out all distractions like what my uh, sports psychologist actually shared with us so uh, just focus and do what you got to do you just train hard for it so just go in and do it. Yeah. So Chelsea of course having been in the taekwondo scene for 11 years is that it? Yeah and representing Singapore for 8 years uh, eight out of those 11 years. An interesting story as well, um, actually. Um, four years ago, back at the Myanmar Sea Games, uh, I know Gary and Sol is going to roll their eyes at me because, you know, they are this story again. But <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea not only competed as an athlete, but she was part of a team of athletes who perform at the closing ceremony. Um, and I was privileged enough to interview her back then. But that's not the interesting part. The interesting part was after the interview, I don't, I don't know if you remember this, is that she missed the athlete's bus and then she had to hitch a ride on our Team Singapore media oh, van yeah. <laughs> back to the athlete's village and squeeze right at the, at the back of the van. Lucky for her, she's petite, but the rest of us were kind of like, you know, sardines and uh, yeah. So, but we're very privileged again to have you with us uh, today uh, on our show and um, great to hear some insights from you. Do you have any like advice that you would give to like, um, younger athletes who are hoping to make it big one day or hoping to represent Singapore one day? Mm, I'll tell them that nothing is impossible if you set your heart and mind to it. If you have a passion in it, just go for it and never stop believing in yourself. And I also have like a personal quote that I go by. Yeah, so it's like, what doesn't challenge you doesn't change you. So by this, every challenge is like uh, a way to learn as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Chelsea. Um, we're just going to get her to sign, uh, to autograph some Team Singapore memor uh, memorabilia that you see here on the bench. Same thing as usual, with the, for, like, the, just like for the rest of our shows, all you have to do to stand a chance to win these exclusively autographed memorabilia is to like and share this video and tell us why you love to see the Team Singapore as well. M might as well, right? Since you're, since you're at it. Hashtag all your content with one Team SG. Okay, we're, so we're gonna, just going to get Gary to pass Chelsea the, the pen and she's going to sign some of the stuff. Everything, so yeah. from here, where do I sign it? Uh, okay, you can, actually we can open up the shirt also if you want. Just easier, wait now, let me... How big is your autograph usually? Not that big. I think like <laughs> my size. Uh. Seriously? <laughs> so her, her autograph is, a, is, is, is just like her. <laughs> Not very big, Proportionate to her size. So where? Uh, yeah, you can sign across anywhere here. That's fine, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait, I help you hold. I help you hold. Wow. Not easy. Yeah. yeah. How? Cannot help that you. You national athlete. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I've got hardship no more. Okay. Well done, Chelsea. Oh, <laughs> One more at the middle. Okay, we're done with the shirt. We're just gonna get you. It's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, she was so strong. <laughs> Yeah, look at the same exactly. Okay, better, better. Well done, awesome. Okay, two down, two to go. This is for the tumbler. Awesome stuff. Okay, for this one, right, it's gonna be two sided. So we need you to sign on one side, but on the other side, maybe like a very short, like well wish, like okay. whatever you wanna say, like thank you for support, whatever you wanna say. Yeah. High level, uh. sign on hard, cotton a uh, cushion hard. Wow, <laughs> my hair writing is better than this. <laughs> 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 totally not judging, but we will never know. <laughs> we will never know. <laughs> yeah, whether your hair writing is better than this. Really? Yep. Because we will judge based on this one. Huh? <laughs> Believe in yourself, you're the first one to say that, awesome! The rest all say other stuff. Oh, I need a smiley face. Smiley face. I like the smiley face, yes. <laughs> smiley face it's a personal touch here. <laughs> Believe in yourself, win this with a smiley face. Remember to smile. It's from Chelsea. Oh yes, do you mind sharing, just showing us the medal that you... Just, uh, well, you do it in the pocket. Yeah. This side, this side. She, I, she really has a lot of medals, but this is this year's... Uh, this SEA Games medal, that's the front. Or oh, is that the front? Or that the back? That's the front. That's the front. That's the front. And then the back. And this is the back. Can I like touch it? <laughs> I don't want to bite it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, solid. Solid? Yeah. Solid. Awesome. It's good to know that. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us again for our show. Don't forget to like and share the video and stand a chance to win all these uh, memorabilia. Um, this is John Young, and it's Gary. Signing off. Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. Not to yeah, forget, Chelsea. forget Chelsea. <laughs> Signing off. Bye.